Do any of these people look familiar? They're suspects in several ATM fraud incidents across North Alabama. Steve Hovis is one of the victims. Two ATM transactions of $500 each, one on Sunday morning and then one on Monday morning. Officials with the Better Business Bureau say one way to stop scammers fast is by setting up alerts with your online banking. What this will do is allow you to see very quickly if there is a, a fraudulent activity on your account, you can report it and you can stop it in its tracks. That's what Hovis did. Sunday morning on the way to worship service, I got a uh, got a text message which was real weird because we haven't we hadn't done any transactions. But after people get their money back, their information could still be compromised. BBB officials say people can put a freeze on their credit. They also recommend contacting all three credit reporting agencies to set up a fraud alert. You can do that, and that will help anyone who uh, receives a request for a, a credit in your name. They are asked. To, they're required to check the ID of the person before they actually extend that credit. Because there's no telling how long information can hang out in cyberspace. So taking these steps helps to ensure victims of scammers don't become targets once again.